Hey guys, it's Nikki. <laughs> Don't mind my unmade bed here. I just, um, yeah, it's laundry day. But welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my January Ipsy bag subscription with you guys. I did use quite a few of these products on my face today. Actually, all of the products that are in here I used on my face that go on your face. I'm going to be talking about them one by one and what I think. I will say that this bag probably has some of my most favorite products in it, so I am so excited to get into this bag and talk about it. If you guys don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a monthly makeup subscription. This bag is actually $12. Um, and then you can get obviously like the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and also too like the Ip Ix there's another version too that they just came out with. But I'm going to just talk about this bag today and everything and yeah. So this is what the bag looks like. It's this really beautiful marble and then it's got pink like a light baby pink zipper closure and the inside is all baby pink as well. So I'm going to pull out the card. Every month comes with a card about the products and what all the products are and where they're from. So I'm going to just pull products out one by one and talk about them. And yeah. So the first thing that's in this bag, this is the Ahava. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the Ahava Deep Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream and Sea Kiss comes in this really beautiful kind of like minty baby blue packaging and it's got a seal on it. I haven't used this yet. I'm actually going to use it uh, after this video just because I'm going to swatch some of the other stuff so I don't want to like get this all over my hands, but it smells pretty good. It smells just like a normal hand cream. So this sea scented travel size hand cream is made with dead sea minerals, which in addition to locking and moisture are known for easing eczema oh, and psoriasis flare ups that can worsen in cold weather. It's packed with ingredients like witch hazel and allotonin to heal, soften, and soothe dry rough skin. And then tip, the tip on the card with this product says slather it, slather, not lather, but slather it on your feet before bed, put on clean socks, and wake up to softer, smoother feet. Well, I'm excited to try this product out now because I have actually eczema all over my body and I have really dry feet, especially in the winter time since it's cold. So I'm really excited to use this and see what I think of it. So I will let you guys know in a video down the line if I like it. So this next product is actually what I am wearing on my eyes today and it is freaking beautiful. This is by Bella Pierre and I've heard this brand before. This is by Bella Pierre Cosmetics and this is the Liquid Shadow Eye Candy. Now this is so pretty. Let me swatch it for you here. First of all, I love the applicator. It's kind of set up like a lipstick applicator, but look at it look at that shadow i'm just gonna make it like really intense so you guys can like see it but look at that shadow it's really pretty and it's got a really pretty shine to it and it even does kind of have some sparkle i noticed on the lid but it's really pretty it dries down like really quickly but it's really easy to blend when you do put it on and it's just so pretty and i'm really impressed i love this color it's kind of like a champagne gold color, but it's super pretty and it really made this look. I have it on my lid that I kind of have it on like the inner part of my tear duct and it really just like makes the look pop. So this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow Eye Candy in the shade Venus. When we passed this bronze shadow around Ipsy HQ, everyone was mesmerized by the stunning shimmer. The liquid formula dries down when it hits your skin, leaving you with a wash of metallic color that lasts for hours without touch-ups. Plus the wand applicator makes it easy to use on the go. That is 100% true. I do agree with that. I think that it makes it so easy and I love this product so much. And it's already dry on the back of my hand and I literally like just put it on there like it's not going anywhere and I like that it doesn't transfer because I've had a lot of liquid shadows in the past when you put it down or even if you put like an eyeshadow on top after it's dried it can have a problem with transferring or it can transfer kind of down um, to your like lower lash line from wearing it all day 
and this I've noticed does not transfer it stayed it's got a beautiful shimmer to it so I'm just super super impressed by this product so I'm definitely going to be buying more colors in this to me I don't think this is like a pure bronze it looks bronze on my hand but when you have it on the eyes it looks more of like a like champagne gold but very beautiful can't wait to keep using this and I am just so excited for it next product is by Ciate London and this is their blush in the shade date night this is such a cute little um, like baby size but there's so much product in here I think it would last for so long this is a really pretty natural shade it's nothing like too crazy but it's just a really pretty shimmery natural peachy shade so that's just what it looks like um, on the hand and it's really pretty it's I mean it's nothing that like blows my socks off but it's nothing that's like awful it's just a really nice natural looking blush that you can wear with literally anything so I think that's what I love most about it is it's just one of those blushes that you really don't have to pair it with a specific look in order for it to look good it looks great with basically anything you know I didn't really know what I was gonna do for my makeup today but this goes along with it perfectly plus the packaging is really really cute it's just this little baby blush and it's just this baby pink and yeah so this is like the perfect little travel size too because it's going to fit perfectly with your makeup so the Ciate London glow to illuminating blush in date night when you want to amp up your glow in a pinch this blush this slow this blush slash highlighter hybrid from Ciate London is all you need date night is a deep terracotta shade no that instantly warms up your complexion and lasts for up to 12 hours Plus, the silky powder blends seamlessly into the skin, no streaks or cakiness. I definitely don't think that this is a terracotta shade. I think it's more of a beautiful peachy pink, but it does have a little bit of a glow to it. I noticed when I put it on my cheeks, it did add a little bit of a luminosity, but nothing like too crazy and nothing over the top that would change or alter the color of like my bronzer or anything. And like, it doesn't look bad. It looks like a beautiful peach flush. So I like it. I can't wait to try more. I do actually want to try Ciate London blushes. So I am glad that I got this one to try and just so I can see what I think. And I do like the formula so far. This next product is what I'm wearing on my lips. And this is the Brooke USA Beauty for Red or Beauty for Real. Sorry, I think that's the brand is Beauty for Real. And this is in the shade Laura. And this is technically like a lip balm. But I think it looks really pretty as like a lipstick. I just paired it with a lip liner and I really like the look of it. This is the Beauty For Real Lip Revival Tinted Lip Balm in Laura. You get the best of many worlds with this lip balm. It's got a tawny rose shimmer, delivers all day hydration thanks to shea butter and macadamia nut oil. It is created in collaboration with Brooke USA whose mission is to improve the lives of working horses, donkeys, and mules all over the world. And then it just gives you a tip on how to make it more glossy, or you can mix it with a lipstick to make it just a little bit more sheer. I think that this is super pretty. Again, this is what I have on my lips right now. Obviously, you guys can really see the color. And I think this is really pretty. Honestly, this is, to me, I feel like this is more of like a lipstick more than a lip balm obviously I know you can sheer it out but it has enough pigment and enough payoff to be a lip balm like me doing that swipe is literally like the first time I've touched it up like since I put it on so I do think that this is a really good product I love the color because it's just such a nice color that will go with everything so I'm really excited about that and I can't wait to keep using this um I don't really know too much about this brand so I'll have to kind of research them Oh, and then one thing I noticed on here, um, it has the full size of what the prices would be. They didn't have that on the last card. Okay. I'll go through at the end and kind of share you with you guys like what the full size products would be. But it's a nice product. I really like it. I'll have to use it a little bit more, but it is very hydrating. And I do like how it feels on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky, but just gives you a good amount of hydration to where it's not gonna like 
you know make your lips crusty and it hasn't bled which is perfect because I have lip liner on to prevent that but I noticed that it hasn't bled under my lip liner which is important this last product I have is this little baby Too Faced hangover RX the or not hangover RX well yeah technically it has RX on it but the hangover replenishing face primer I have used this before so I kind of already knew how this product was gonna be but this is by Too Faced Cosmetics so I'll go ahead and read about it the Too Faced Cosmetics hangover replenishing face primer cold weather dry air and party season means your skin needs extra TLC to look and feel refreshed prep this Prep with this hydrating coconut milk infused primer to soften, soothe, boost radiance, and improve your skin's elasticity. You can use it under makeup for even application or over for instant luminosity. I use it as a normal primer. I don't want to put it over my makeup because personally the consistency is not something that I would put over my makeup. But this is a really nice primer. I've used it before so I really don't have like a lot to say about it other than the fact that I like it. And I've used it before, so obviously I kind of already knew what to expect from this product, but it's still nice to kind of see it in a bag to see what everyone thinks and everything. It's a nice little size for a primer, so not too much to say about that product, but I like it. Glad I got it. And yeah. So now that Ipsy is now putting the prices of what the full size items are on the card, I'm gonna go through all the products and tell you what the full size would be. So for the Bella Pierre liquid eyeshadow, your full size, which I believe this is a full size, um, is $20. For Beauty For Real, the full size value is $14, which this to me looks like a full size, so I guarantee you this is a full size product, but yeah, $14. I just read on the card, so these two are actually full size products, so literally, you're getting the bag for literally less the price than both of these products. This is a deluxe sample size and the regular size is $26 for the Ciate London blush. And this is like I said, a really nice size. So I really do like this and enjoy this. And this is also to a deluxe sample of the Too Faced primer and the full size of this is $34. So in total, you're getting this bag for $12, which literally is less than two of the full size products separate. So I think that's a pretty good deal, especially for how good these products are. You know, I love this eyeshadow. I think that it's beautiful. So I'm definitely going to have to get more colors. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is my January Ipsy bag don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it also too don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos every week these are one of my favorite videos to film every month so you guys can see what i got in my ipsy bag and what i think overall i do think this was a pretty good bag and i do think that it was worth it this month i know some bags i've kind of had like Ugh! but yeah i really liked it i really like the products in here and i'm really excited to keep using them and incorporating them with my makeup theme for this bag was clean slate so obviously starting off the new year with a clean slate New Year, new me, am I right? Don't forget to comment down below what you guys got in your Ipsy bag this month and what you guys think of the bag and all the products in it. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.